Hello everyone and welcome to another session from the Oyster Academy. Today we will be discussing about how the online exams which are going to be there for Goa PSE, how do they even come up and uh, what you need what you need to see on the screen, what are the various options that you have when you're giving these exams, uh, which we call as CBRT exams, right? I hope you remember this, computer-based recruitment test. So how these exams are conducted and uh, what are the precautions you need to take when you're sitting at your system? What are the things that are there? That means which are the tabs that are there? How to even attempt these questions? And a few other things is what we will tend to look at. I have a demo session available, uh, which I've taken screenshots of just to show you guys as to what the exam uh, normally is conducted as. So the very first thing is, once you enter the exam center, okay, the exam hall, uh, you will be checked. So there you will your hall ticket, okay, and your ID, okay. So you will have to take a printout of your hall ticket. It can be black and white. If you want it colored, you take it colored, no problem. So your hall ticket, one copy, and a photo ID, an original photo ID. It could be anything like your Aadhaar card. Okay, it can be your PAN card, it can be driver's license, anything, no issues. So it only needs to be a photo ID. The best option right now, anywhere where you go in India, if you carry your Aadhaar card, that becomes the best ID card that we have right now. So I would suggest take your Aadhaar card with you. Take your original Aadhaar card, okay? Uh, and you take your hall ticket. That's, that's all you sort of require. Of course, take a pen, okay? Uh, why do we need a pen if it's an online exam is because there is mathematics uh, which you need to solve. So you will be given a sheet of paper. Okay. You will be given a sheet of paper and you will have to solve uh, whatever you want to or any rough work that you want to do. You can do it on the sheet of paper. And for that you, to write, you require a pen, you're not given a pen there. Right. So you take your pen, you take a pencil, whatever you're comfortable with, you can do that. No issues. You cannot take any form of any electronic items inside. So no calculators, no smart watch watches, uh, no headsets, uh, Bluetooth, nothing, no phone, nothing at all. Uh, one, once you do enter, uh, you will be given an option to put your bags aside. There is another small classroom or they'll give a small space to put your bags aside. Okay. So no bags allowed either. So just take your hall ticket, your ID card, a pen with you the rough sheet will be given to you in the exam hall. Okay, so you don't need to worry on that either. It will be given your rough sheet. So you will be assigned a system. Uh, the system will be assigned by the people who will be in charge. Uh, that is the invigitators who will be there. They will be looking at and giving you the proper systems. Okay. Uh, it's a regular PC as such in a very well uh, air conditioned room. You have your fans running. It is a very big room also. Uh, it's very comfortable. The chairs are comfortable. So you are sitting there. You can carry a small watch with you just to check or if you want to, any which way there is a timer available on the system. So you need to worry on any of that things either. So you enter. Once you enter, you will be seeing you on your system. Your system will be on. Okay. And you will have a screen like this. A screen like this which will have online examination center written. You will have your sign in, which will have your username and password and the exam that you are appearing for. And of course, this sign in button. Okay. Now what is happening is here you need to put in your username and your password. You'll be like, where do I find the username and password? It will be on your hall ticket. Okay. Your application ID is actually your username. All right. And your password is your date of birth. Now there is a certain format that exact format that is user name and password is on the hall ticket. You just need to copy it from the hall ticket and pay, put it over here and type it over here. Okay. That is all you need to do. Then you click on this drop down. on this drop down, you will have the options of the exam that you're giving. For example, if you're giving a JSO exam, that is one. If you're giving a BDO exam, that is two. So whichever exam that you're appearing for, you will have to select it over here. All right. 
So, uh, and then you click on sign in. Once you sign in, then your exam starts. All right. Another thing, you will not put in your user ID and password unless and until the people in charge tell you to do so. Okay. So you will have to wait till you get the instructions to put in your username and password. Okay. You will have to select your proper uh, exam that you're appearing for and only then sign it. All right. Five minutes before the examination starts, you will be given your piece of paper. On this sheet, you will write your application ID, okay, or your hall ticket number, as you know. That will be your that you will have to put on the sheet. Okay. So these are the small things you need to take care of once you enter. You will be entering the exam center at least half an hour before the exam starts. At least half an hour. Now, how does this work for anybody? So I'll tell you how this works. Okay. So I hope you guys have understood this particular part. Hold on. Okay. So let's say the exam is at around 10 a.m. Okay. You will have to come in half an hour at least before. That means the entry will start from 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Okay. So from 9 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. is when the entry will start. If you come after 9.30, you will not be allowed to enter the examination and you will not be given the opportunity to, uh, to give the exam. Okay. So be very careful. Where do I find this information? On the hall ticket itself. So once you get your hall ticket, there are a list of instructions. Please go through that. You will be, uh, you will be fine. Also carry a mask. Mask is compulsory. Okay. So you'll have to carry a mask. You will have to carry your hall ticket. You will have to carry your ID. Okay. And you will have to come in at least half an hour before the exam starts. So if the exam is at 10, as I said, between 9 to 9.30 a.m you will be given a piece of paper at the examination. So these are basic things that are going to happen once you do go in for the examination. Today's session, I really wanted to talk about as to what and how the exam looks like when you're giving answers. Okay. So what is going to happen is you will be given, uh, your, you have your user ID password. You'll be told when to log in. You log in with the correct uh, exam and you sign in. Okay. Okay, so once you do enter uh, and your ID and password and you do sign in, you get this kind of a screen. Of course, the arrows are not there. I'm just put the arrows so that you guys can sort of understand what there is and what it comes up to be. So what is happening is uh, you have your question over here, the question number. Okay, the marks for the number. Here you would see the question number says question number one and it says one mark. Okay, here is the question. And here are the options. So you have option A, B, C, D, and you have what it is. So you have the answers which you need to select. The question is, are you playing tennis? And it is asked as to what is the tense of this particular question? So you have option A, B, C, D, you have, is it simple present? Is it simple past? Is it present continuous? Is it past continuous? So these are four options. Whichever option you select, let's say you want to select option C, you will select option C, okay? So you will just click on this and it will select that option. It is as simple as that. And you move on to the next question. But this particular page, I want to show you a few other things. Okay. One is here, as I said, you will see the question. So you have the question information. Second, you will have the user information. So you will, this will, you will need to check your name will show up. You will also have your photo over here. Okay. So these screenshots are a bit old, but that's okay. I'll, I'm telling you what else also is there. So you have your photo, which photo, the same photo that you uploaded. Okay. Then here is the question. What is the question asking for? That is one. And here you would notice you have the timer. Okay. So you get the photo here and here is the timer. The timer shows how much time is left. Okay. So this timer is continuous. So this con continues on till the very end till it goes to zero, zero. So this is the timer over here. 
So you select whatever you want to and you move on to the next particular question. Now, how does that look? Let's say you did select C. So I'll show you that also. So you see this, you have four options, as I said, A, B, C, D, and the four answers to it. What has happened is that over a period of time, Goa GPSC has realized that there is a possibility that some of the questions could possibly come up wrong or they could upload it incorrectly. It did happen. Not many a times, just maybe one question or two question at the most um, over, uh, over the entire period of uh, examination as such. So they said, you know what, let's get away with that and let's stop that problem also. So for this, they came up with another option, which is E, which is none of the above. Okay, so you have option E, which is none of the above. I'm sorry, just I think I'm not writing this right. Okay, so none of the above is the option. This particular screenshot does not have none of the above, but I'm telling you that it is there. So uh, here then what happens is you have other various tabs also. I'll show you. So you have questions tab, you have bookmark tab. You have invalid tab. Okay, there used to be an invalid tab earlier. Now there isn't. You have first, previous, next, last. You have this clear tab and you have submit tab. Okay, so we'll discuss this one by one. So question tab, if you click on the question tab, it will take you to the entire list of questions. It's like a very big box. Okay. So it's like a box over here. And this will be question one, two, three, four, five, and the option that you have selected also beside it. So if let's say you have attempted question one, you went on to question two and you thought maybe you would want to come back to it. So you left question three, you went to question, you left question two and you went to question three, if that is the case. And when you're checking all the questions, you realize, okay, I do not know, or I want to go to back to question number two. Do I keep on clicking again, all of these questions one by one? No, you can directly come to this question tab. You can open this entire sheet. You can click on question two and you can come to question two and answer it. Okay, this is how simple they have made. Second thing is there is a possibility that you might have answered question two. Okay, but you want to review it. For that instance, you can say you can click on bookmark. So what will happen is again on that entire grid as I showed you. Okay. Let's say one and two and three. So you want to come back to question two, you have bookmarked it. You can press on questions. You can check which questions you have left for bookmarking. You can come to this and answer it again if you want to. Okay, so bookmark and questions is very helpful when you're giving the exam. Now, as I told you, let's say you had selected option three as correct. Okay, once you did select option three, uh, you want to go to the next question. So you have selected this you come to next, you click on this next, you go to the next question. If you click on next, you, so this is the first question, you click on next, you go to second, you click on next, you go to third. Let's say you have gone to third and you realize, okay, question number two, I want to answer again. You can click on previous, you can come on question number two. Okay. Or you want to check all of your questions from the start. You can click first and you can come and start from the first question again. If you want to go to the last question, you can go to the last question and come back again. So these are various options for navigation that are given on your, uh, in your CBRT exam. Let's say you have clicked answer C, you want to click answer D. So there are two ways. One. You click on answer C and then you realize, okay, you know what my answer possibly is wrong. I want to click on D. You can directly click on D and this highlighted uh, point over here goes on to D directly. Okay. Or if you think, you know what, I don't want to answer this at all. Then you can also clear, click on clear and it will clear all of the options. So it will uh, not affect you at all. Now this clear button was very helpful when Goa PSC exams had negative marking, but now they don't have negative marking. Okay. So now you, even if you do not know the answer, I would suggest come to the uh, correct conclusion as to which will be the best answer and click on it because there is no negative marking as of yet. In the future, if there is, uh, I'll let you know that there is negative marking for certain exams or not there. But at this point of time, there is no negative marking. That is why this clear option might not be as helpful as it used to be earlier. Okay. 
Then you have the submit test. So after you are done with your test, earlier we used there used to be this button that is submit test. So you had to click on submit test. Only then your test would be submitted. Okay. It also had the option of submitting the test before the timer is done. So you even had that option. But now submit test button does not work. Submit test button is uh, kept as invalid at this point of time. The reason being because a lot of students mistakenly clicked on submit button, and then their question paper was submitted or their answer, these particular uh, paper was submitted, and they might have lost on a few marks here and there. So what happened was, if the question paper is going to be a one hour and one and a half hour or one hour fifteen minutes at the most, in that scenario. we will not allow you to submit the test unless and until the timer is completed okay so submit test does not work anymore it is still there but it does not work the clear button is still there it works and it was very helpful when we had negative marking but now there is no use of it also so your best buttons to use at this point of time are these navigation buttons which are very helpful and second this question and bookmark button okay where you can navigate to whichever question you want to or you can bookmark if you want to earlier as i said we had the invalid button it is not there anymore the reason being because we have this last option of e none of the above if you think that the question is invalid and none of the answers really come up to the question you can directly click e and move on no problem okay if the answer is actually e you will get the mark if the answer is not e and the question is actually valid maybe your thought process was not correct and that is why you had marked e and goa psc shows you as to why the answer could be a b c d or any of the four then you will definitely not get that mark okay so invalid the book the button for invalid does not work anymore it is not there at all but e option is there okay then after you have clicked on c what happens after that you get this pop up message right here okay where it tells you which option was saved for this particular question so it is see if, if, as i told you it is very very transparent okay so it will even tell you which option you have selected if you change this let's say you go from c to d immediately this will pop up again and this time it will say saved option d for question 1 so earlier when you had saved option c it said c when it changed it to d it will say d okay so whatever you have selected this pop up comes up and it is very helpful just to check yet again immediately verification as to what has been selected okay so if you clear for example clear the if you click on clear option it will even say clear selection for question 1 but i would say do not use this clear button whatever option you think is correct you select on that if you think the another option is correct you select on that from c it will go to b okay so you don't need to use clear anymore clear option was excellent when we had negative marking but it does not need we do not need it anymore and remember there is always this option of e which is none of the above okay now for questions okay as i told you see this question button okay this question button if you click on it it will give you all of the questions that are there okay now since this is a demo test we had only 15 questions on this so you have question 1 2 3 4 and so on you can navigate to these questions by directly click on click, clicking on it or you can and even click on this bookmark and you can see which of the questions that you have wanted to review again what has changed however from this is for every answer question that you have marked or answered you will get that particular answer over here so 1 is 1 2 is 2 3 is 4 maybe you answered 4 is maybe 3 you have answered 5 again maybe you have one you have answered it will tell you what answer you have given also okay apart from this if you have bookmarked it this will show up in a different color and say that this question has been bookmarked for review so you can go to that question and even answer let's say you did not answer 6 you went to 7 okay you have answered 3 4 1 2 1 3 4 answered 1 3 4 these are the answers and you have not answered 6 so you see this blank 
then immediately from here you can click on this question number six it will take you to question number six and then you can answer it again if you want to okay so no problem at all this question button navigation system works excellent you have this navigation system also available for you okay so it is working uh, this this works really well then uh, the bookmark question bookmark option once you do bookmark a question, let's say this is the question, right? So Tanya is older than Eric. Cliff is older than Tanya. Eric is older than Cliff. If the two statements are true, the third statement is what? Is what? So you think maybe, you know what, maybe I need to give a little time to this and think for this. And you have options A, B, C, D, true, false, uncertain, don't know. And you have nota. That is none of the above. Okay. And you think, you know what, maybe I need some time to think on this. Maybe I'll answer something else first, which I find a little more easier and I'll answer that. In that scenario, you could either mark any of these and click on bookmark to review so that you can come back to the question. Or you can click on bookmark, keep this none of this answered over here and click on bookmark and come back to it. It just means that this particular question is now up for review. How do you know this? Because here you will get this particular icon which says that this particular question is now up for review. Now, there are two things to this. Let's say you have not answered anything over here and put for review. You will, you will not get any marks for this. Okay. But let's say you have answered B. Okay. Let's say you have answered B and you have still put it for review because you have answered this particular question the marks either will be counted if it is correct and will not be counted if it is wrong. So if the correct answer is C, okay, this is the correct answer and you have marked it as B. So this question is wrong that you have attempted. So you, you will not get marks for this. Okay. But even though it is in bookmark, the bookmark is for you, not for Goa PSC. This is for you to review. You have answered it. That means we will be considering that answer that you have given is to be considered as correct from your end. Okay. Now let's say that the answer is B and you have marked it as B. You are a little uncertain. So you want to review it later, but you have put it as B. And luckily for you, it is the right answer. You will get that one mark for this. Okay. Even though it is for review. All right. So if you have marked it, as one of the four options you have said that you know what i want to mark it as b or c or whatever you think is the right answer and you have even put it for bookmark that bookmark review is for you to come back to the question and confirm for yourself whether that answer you have attempted is correct or not if the answer is correct you will get the mark if it is not you will not get the mark there is no negative marking for it okay so this bookmark does help you if you do come back to the question and try to attempt it again then you have the invalid uh, button over here. This invalid button is not there anymore, but when it was or used to be there, that time when you could actually report a question as invalid. Now you just has, have the option of E, which is none of the above. Okay. So if you think it is invalid or if you think that this is not the correct answer, you can just click on E and you can move on. Okay. But uh, I'll tell you this none of the above option is very rarely used. Uh, the reason being that most of your questions have the answer between A, B, C, D. So unless and until you are dead sure that no, this question is wrong or this answers, none of them answers are actually correct, then you can go in for note. Okay. All right. And then lastly, you have submitting the test. Now, as I said before, submitting the test button, this particular option does not exist anymore. I mean, the button is there, but it does not work. Okay, the button is there. And even if you click on submit button, it will say that you still have time left on the exam. The exam will be submitted after the time ends. Okay, so anyone who sort of used to complain earlier, oh no, submit button was clicked automatically or by mistake and I, I want to give the exam again. No, none of that will ever happen again because the entire time span of that particular exam is now considered. Okay, so you cannot use the submit button or you cannot really click on submit test anymore. So earlier when you used to click submit test also, there used to be a pop-up that click do you want to submit the test? Are you certain? That means if someone used to say that, you know what, it is by mistake, 
I really don't uh, trust the person, or I wouldn't really believe the person. The reason being because you were given one other option to confirm whether you really want to submit the test. Okay, so now this option does not exist anymore. Now what happens is you give your paper. If you're done earlier, let's say you still have ten minutes, you check on the questions again if you want to. Ten minutes you have to wait. Okay, till the exam is submitted, and once the exam is submitted, immediately you will get your score. Okay, so earlier there used to be the option of submitting button, and after this is done, you get your score like this. Okay, this is the screen. You get your test name. So you will be, let's say, you're giving JSO. So you will have junior scale officer. Okay, the date on which you have given the exam, your seat number, whatever your seat number is. This will be your token number. Your token number, or uh, now there is no token number as such, but you will have. There used to be a token given earlier. Okay, this token. Uh, was given for every system. So once you did enter earlier, what used to happen was you give your hall ticket and you are given a number. That token number used to come up. Okay, so this does not exist anymore. So that's okay. And this is your score. Of course, this is zero zero because this is a demo. But whatever your score is, so let's say you have scored forty marks, so you get forty over here. Okay. Earlier there used to be this also number of logins. This does not exist anymore because there is only one login now. Then you have start time. And end time. Why we required the start time and end time earlier was because uh, you could actually submit the paper for, for first, right? So now you don't need to. You don't need this. So start time and end time is redundant. So it's okay. Uh, how much time is remaining and all of that? No, this also does not exist. Uh, exam state? Yes, it is completed. Here is what is important. Okay. So this particular part and this. So you let's say total questions were fifteen in this demo test. Attempted questions, whatever you might have attempted, comes over here, and unattempted questions comes over here. Okay. So let's say you have given the JSO screening exam, which is of seventy-five questions. All right. Out of which you attempted seventy-four. Maybe because you lost, you did not complete it. Last question, you had to let go, possibly because time got over, something like that. Okay, and so one attempted, unattempted question. So this will be your uh, total questions, attempted questions, and unattempted. Out of which, let's say you get forty-nine marks. So your score is going to be forty-nine over here. These two points are the only things you need to look out for. So your JSO exam, whichever exam you're giving, is correct or not? The score and this. The best part about CBRT examinations are that you get your score right away, and you would know right then and there whether you have whether you will clear or not. Okay. So uh, this is something that is excellent when it comes to CBRT examinations. All right. Once you are done with the exam, uh, you do get up quietly. All right. uh because there could be a possibility that someone else is still attempting because there might be a possibility that they uh, logged in a little late why could why that could happen is because they might have a system issue or it could happen that uh, they their id and password is not working for some reason and it had to be rectified it even something like this could happen so be uh, quiet when you're getting up others might be attempting the paper and after that the sheet the uh, you know the rough sheet that was given to you you have to submit it back okay take your belongings with you so you might have taken your uh, pen your hall ticket and your id card make it a point you take it with you uh, once you come down you take your belongings and you are out okay so that's it this, this is the entire process when it comes to an online examination or a cbrt examination for goa bsc all right if you have any more questions on this just give us a call on this number uh, and we shall help you out all right if i am not able to pick up your call just drop in a message this is my whatsapp number also so you i will be able to help you out as well all right so that is it for today thank you for watching